You're watching the KUSI News at 6. Senator Barbara Boxer was in town today. She was talking about stimulus money. Now, it's for medical research at UCSD, but the question is, is it creating new jobs? Steve Bosch joins us now live from the newsroom with the answer on that one. Steve? Heather, the medical center is getting $45 million over two years. Now, the lion's share of this money will be going to advance research for Alzheimer's, for pediatric drugs, autism, and technologies to better diagnose diseases. Only about 15% of the funds going for job creation. The $787 billion stimulus package was rolled out as a jobs program to keep unemployment below 8%. But the opposite has happened. Unemployment is over 10% and we're still losing jobs. While touring the John Moore's Cancer Center at UCSD, Senator Boxer said federal dollars have launched 50 San Diego companies creating more than 16,000 jobs. No, this is, this is about the 50 companies that were launched. Launched with National Institute of Health grants, not stimulus dollars. Can we expect additional stimulus money to create jobs? Will we have more economic stimulus to pump up these dollars? I don't think so. The lion's share of the $45 million coming to UCSD will go to research. A handful of technicians will be hired, so will a scientist. And a neuro-oncologist has been hired to help lead a program aimed at developing new therapies for brain tumors. That's the first San Diego job created that we know of. The failure of the stimulus package, Boxer's record, and her self-importance will likely be issues in her re-election campaign. One Republican challenger, former Hewlett-Packard executive Carly Fiorina, says Boxer gets credit for three pieces of legislation in 17 years and two fiction novels. What do you say we work together and give Barbara Boxer the chance next year to become a full-time novelist? As to the self-importance, the change between Boxer and a high-ranking general at a public meeting. Ma'am, at the uh, LACPR is... It... You know, do me a favor. Could you say Senator instead of ma'am? Yes, it's sir. just a thing. I worked so hard to get that title. A title she is likely to keep, even though this race is near the top of the list for Republicans. But it's a mountain that may be too steep to climb. Now, Bosser is seeking her fourth term in the Senate, and she doesn't appear to have any real serious opposition in the upcoming June primary. Heather, back to you. Uh, just for clarity here, I want to make sure we all have this right. That was the first job created in San Diego with the stimulus money, you said? That we know of. That's pretty amazing now.